Are you guys up for another grain to glass video as you saw on the thumbnail? This is a 3.5% stout. I used a shit ton, I swear, like in the beginning of this video. I used a lot of rose to barley in this one and uh, low LV beer. Actually, was split batch, but I have a video on that. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit while in the uh, the video. So, grain to glass, if you're new to this, means that we are like, gonna see the brew footage and we run through the recipe, at least I do in my videos, and we actually come back and try the beer in the end. So, let's get started. I'm Dr. Hans, this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. So if you want to learn with me how to come better at brewing, possibly, why don't you subscribe? Hit that uh, like button and like ring all of the bells and whistles and all of that. And as usual, if you just hit the troll, hit the dislike button twice for double the impact. With that said, let's jump into the brew day, then we'll come back, run through the recipe, taste the beer, and yeah. No more talking, let's get brewing.
So that was the brew day. And here we have the beer. This is poured from the keg grid up in my main house. This turned out beautifully. Yeah, it was a split batch. This is the uh, this is actually brewed with log yeast. I have another video where I did compare the log one with the uh, US of Pi one. This is brewed with Saflog W3470. So you can go and check that video out after this one. I will always like link to the videos I'm talking about down in the description. So don't have to like click a card or anything like that. You will find everything down in the description. And uh, the recipe, we're going to run through that, is already up on my Patreon page in the big Dr. Hans recipe book for my patrons to dig in. To. So if you're into that, like recipes, and want to support the channel and want even more content, consider supporting on Patreon or channel membership or just buy me a beer down below. Down below, yeah, in, in links in the description. Yeah, you get... Uh, like bready, roastiness, and yeah, speaking of videos, by the way, if you want to like up your stout game, I have some awesome tips for you, which you, you can apply with like all dark beers, of course, but yeah. So this video, so go check that out. Also, links down in the description, you know the drill by now. This is super smooth, like tight bubbles. I do get like a lot of roasted barley, but it has no like harshness, something like that. It has to do with the the way of the brew. So you can go check that out in the other video, but we're going to talk about it when we run through the recipe. It has some sweetness. So we did end with like a high FG. Yeah, we will look into that, the numbers. But it really helps this beer because it's 3.5% beer. So of course it's not like a, a big beer, but the higher FG really helps out. But it's not, it's not sweet at all, well balanced with hops. And I did add spices to this one. And that was actually one of my patrons. It was Jeff's fault because middle of the brew day, uh, commented on, I think it was like the, the new patron Facebook group where he said he was doing like a Christmas beer and yeah, it just tilted my brain and I started adding spices. But I wanted to add like spices that complemented the stout and n would not take over at all. I was thinking like dark chocolate with spices could I add? So, so yeah all in the recipe soon, sorry. I can't really like pick out any of them. So does that mean that they don't shine through? Maybe they're doing the job that they were supposed to do, like flavor the beer. I couldn't know if I, I didn't do another split batch, of course. Really beautiful, let's run through the recipe. This was a like a big, big brew on the, uh, can you see it? Yeah, on the Guten 70. So I used 7.8 kilos of pale ale malt or 63.4%. That's Brewmaster Sweden pale ale malt. And I used Munich Light there, Castle Malting. 1.8 kilos or 14.6%. 1.5 kilos of roasted Barley, that's 12.2 percent. It was 600 grams of biscuit malt, 4.9 percent. Might have been like cookie malt, but yeah, it's like substitute for that. And I used 600 grams of Cara Munich Type 3. So the biscuit malt and Cara Munich, it's 4.9 percent each. I mashed this at an hour at 66 C, and then I did a mash out and did a mash out for 30 minutes. So the roasted barley didn't go into the mash until the mash out. You don't need to mash the roasted grains and you aren't supposed to do that. So don't steep your roasted grains more than 30 minutes. I explain it more in 
the, the video about the, the, the tips for brewing, the Halloween special, the tips for brewing like stouts, so go and check that out. This was a no shill, so I had to like plan out my re recipe. So in the recipe it says like 80 minutes for the bitter edition and 25 minutes for like um, second hop edition, but it actually was 60 minutes and five minutes, but as the beer like stands hot, I added like 20 minutes in the calculation. At 60 minutes, I added 40 grams of magnum. At 5 minutes, I added 100 grams of Willamette. But I calculated that as an 80 minute and 25 minutes addition. If you're doing no shield, add 20 minutes when you're calculating it. It works for me. I use some spices at 50 minutes. I use three star anise stars. Yeah. And uh, one teaspoon of chili flakes. I used some fruta flock for fining and some yeast nutrients. Was used half teaspoon of rock salt and one vanilla pod. This one was fermented with Saf Lager 3470. I also did a split, split batch, so I fermented it with the US05 yeast. You can go and check out that video. Also, if you want to know like the, the difference. And this was fermented out in like three days maybe. It was a little bit of beer. The OG was 1047 and this actually ended up at 1020. There was a lot of roasted barley in this one, 12.2%. And uh, yeah, the higher FG really helped this beer out. This is not a big beer. Of course it doesn't have like alcohol taste to it, but I wouldn't guess this being just like a 3.5% beer. So uh, yeah. If you're into stout, do try the recipe out. If you found this video helpful, amusing, annoying, <laughs> whatever, consider like supporting on Patreon channel membership or just buy me a beer. All links down below in the description. It takes a lot of work trying to put out a video at least once a week. So a uh, big shout out and thank you to all the guys and girls who are actually supporting the madness. And to everyone, of course, Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Dr. Hans out.